Right ventricular performance is an important determinant of clinical status and long-term outcome in preterm and term neonates. Accurate assessment of right ventricle performance can be challenging, but right ventricle function is a critical prognostic determinant of cardiopulmonary pathologies in term and preterm infants. Recent pediatric and neonatal echocardiographic guidelines recommend performing quantitative measurements of right ventricular systolic function using at least one of the following echocardiographic measures. Right ventricular fractional area change. Tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion, or Right ventricular myocardial performance index. Right ventricle fractional area change is a planimetric measure of the ratio of systolic to diastolic area in apical 4 or 3 chamber view by manual tracing of the endocardial border of the right ventricle. Fractional area change is calculated by the following formula. It is important that the entire ventricle is visualized when tracing the endocardium in systole and diastole including the outflow tract and the lateral wall. Trabeculation should be included within the cavity under the tracing procedure. Normal values in preterm and term infants have been published ranging from 25% to 45%. Median values below 20% are highly associated with the need for ECMO or death. Tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion, is a measure of right ventricle longitudinal function and obtained from the four-chamber view using the M mode, with the cursor aligned along the direction of the lateral annulus. It provides useful information about longitudinal fiber shortening, and it has shown good correlation with techniques estimating right ventricle global systolic function. Tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion is not influenced by heart rate which is of importance for its use in preterm infants. However, it should be noted that tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion is both angle and load dependent. Normal values in the neonatal population range from 0.4 cm, in preterm neonates at lower gestational ages, up to 1 cm, in term neonates. Diminished values below 0.4 cm, is predictive for the need of ECMO and death in infants with persistent pulmonary hypertension. Myocardial performance index represents the relation between the sum of isovolumic contraction and relaxation time, and ejection time, and can be derived from tissue Doppler, both color and pulse seed wave. This index is a non-geometric index, and can be considered independent by loading conditions. It is generally used to estimate global ventricular function of the left ventricle, but the application in the pediatric and neonatal population for right ventricular performance is widely accepted. Reference values for myocardial performance index are available for term and preterm infants. In term newborns, right ventricular dysfunction, but also increased right ventricle afterload, will increase the time of isovolumic phases and therefore lead to a higher myocardial performance index.